in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have started a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we commenced the chapter that is known as pragmatics, which is the study of the use of language in context. Yesterday, I told you about positive phrase. Today, I'm going to teach you negative phrase. What is negative phrase? How to recognize negative phrase? What are practical examples of negative phrase? All these will be discussed in today's topic. Listeners and audience, first of all, you must keep this point in your mind. This negative phase does not mean a bad phase. Actually, as we discussed positive paste with clear cut example, same is the case, this will be also clear. What is the definition of negative phase? Negative phase is also known as negative uh, politeness. It is the need to be independent and free from the imposition of others. In other words, negative phase means to be uh, free from the imposition, pressure and force of others and also to be independent in his work and action. So a person with a negative face, he wants and desires to be free from the imposition, pressure and force of others. And he wants independency, sovereignty, authority and wants to be autonomous in his work. He does not want to share his task or work with others. He wants to be independent and to complete his work by his own. And whenever others they are thinking about, when others are thinking about a person with a negative face, they are concerning about, about that independent person. Listeners and idols, a person with a negative face, he is actually autonomous and sovereign in his action. And that person makes the use of both face saving act and face threatening act. Let me provide some examples of a negative face that you understand. The first example of a negative face is I am sorry. I am sorry to bother you. I am sorry to bother you. But I cannot do it or I can't do it. Or you may say, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, I am quite busy, uh, but I can't do it. So I'm sorry to bother you. You see, here he or she makes the use of, uh, but the use of face saving act. But another he make you he can make the use of uh, negative or he can make the use of face threatening act. For example, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I'm busy. I'm busy. 
I cannot continue with you. Let's do some ideas. So he can make the use of both uh, face saving act or face threatening act. The first example is of the face saving act, and the next example is of uh, face threatening act. Let's do some ideas to make it short. A negative face is the need to be independent and free from the imposition of others. A person with having a negative face or a person with negative face, he wants to be independent, authoritative, autonomous in his action and he does not want to share his task with others and wants to complete by himself. Hope that this topic is clear to you. And with this, our topic is completed. Politeness, uh, saving, face saving act, face threatening act, positive politeness and negative politeness. In the upcoming lecture, inshallah, we will start the new topic and that would be speech act or speech act theory.